everybody. My name is Alex. I'm part of the BZB Gear product development and support team um, here. And today we're going to be covering our new BZB Gear switch control app. Um, we've added a lot of new features uh, and great compatibility. Uh, we've actually reduced and gotten rid of our AV over IP app um, and integrated it into one app along with all of our matrix switchers uh, and video wall processors. Um, so behind me, we've got our 3x3 video wall set up along with our AV rack with a bunch of different matrices and our AV over IP system. Today we're going to demo how to create video walls, um, how to manage your matrices, set presets, all that good stuff. So with that, let's get to it. We've got our video wall set up. Um, we've got a two by two showing uh, four different sources. Uh, and the unit that we're actually going to be using right now is our AV over IP system, um, our basic one, so the 4K at 30. Um, which is set up in our rack over off to the right that you can't see anymore. Um, so basically to set this up, all we have to do um, after getting everything on the same network, and this goes for any of our devices, you should already have it networked and everything like that. Um, if you need help with that, um, we have different videos for our different devices that kind of walk you through that setup. That's not what this is about. This is primarily about the app. Um, so with that, um, all we have to do is with our iPad on the same network, we're just gonna go ahead and open our app after downloading it. And we're gonna add a new device. So we're gonna tap add device. And then from the new device drop down, we're gonna pick our model. So our basic system is listed as the BG VOPCB, which is the control box for the AV over IP system. We can name it if we want. So I'll just name this AV over IP. And then we're gonna type in the address. Uh, for our control box. So this is 192.168.30.234. And we're gonna hit save. So as we can see, um, our device got added. We can see our IP, the name we gave it, and the device model up the top. So all we have to do is tap it, and it'll load in. So a brief overview. All of our matrices and our AV over IP, these, this layout is going to look the same. You're going to have displays on the left, sources on the right, and some extra options across the top of the screen. Um, so we've got create video wall, create group, which is specific to AV over IP systems, um, refresh data, uh, which will kind of refresh these screenshots for AV over IP, pass through, which you may see on a multiple different devices, which kind of sets a one-to-one, -to -one, uh, two-to-two, three-to-three uh, for sources and displays, if available, on your device. Um, selecting presets and save presets, which are across all of our devices. Um, to control, as far as just mapping across any of our devices goes, um, all you have to do is click and drag. So if I wanted to change either a display or move a source, I can drag either from the left or from the right and uh, change the displays. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this first one with the, uh, that's showing a panda, and I'm going to drag it to where Mortal Kombat was showing. And then we'll see up on our display, it might go black for a second, but then we should get another picture of our animals up there, up on the top right, which is great. And, and we, if we wanted to, we can drag this to all of our screens um, and get everything so they're showing the same image if we want. And everything will show, you know, our gazelle drinking. Um, if we like this and we want to be able to show this, say, like in a bar atmosphere or something like that, like, you know, everything's on ESPN now, um, we can actually save this as a preset. And to do that, all I have to do is hit Save Preset. Um, I select whichever one I want to do. If I want to name it, I can. So I can just rename the preset. I can just, let's call this uh, Animals and hit Save. So if I go to my Save Presets, now we can see it's listed up there as um, some saved preset. Um, if I want to use pass through and I want to go back to just kind of a random layout, I can hit the pass through button and this will change it so each display is showing something else. If I wanted to say create a video wall and say so I want one image to go across all four screens, I can tap the create video wall button up here and I'll just have to drag displays to um, their correct spots on here. Um, but to do that, I might need to figure out which display is what currently. So looking at my uh, TV wall and my different items that I've got showing on here, um, I know this guy right, uh, the second one, is going to be my TV one. So I can actually change these names so they're easy to identify. So let's delete this. Let's name these guys. So we can go TV one. We'll save that one. My animal is going to be my second TV, so let's rename this guy. 
PV2, and so on. Let's rename this one. And you can do this for all your sources and things too, just so it helps you keep track. And you can do this on the other matrices and devices and things. Um, currently, they don't have the option um, to show like these preview images that we're seeing in our AV over IP system. Um, but in the future, an updated version of the app, we will be able to add pictures and things like that for, to help you with easier identification. But for right now, uh, naming them is going to be your best bet. And then um, our last display, let's see here. Oops, might have just renamed the same one. Change this guy. This is TV3, TV3, save. This is actually TV4. Change name. Four. All right, and we've got everything named. So if I go back to my create video wall, now I can see which TV is what, and it's going to make it easy for me to just to click and drag these guys to their positions on the wall. That's all you have to do. Just click and drag, and then uh, we're going to pick a source. Um, so my sources aren't right, named right now, but I can just pick one because I've got four, and just hit set video wall. And it might take a second here, but we'll see everything kind of change over. And hopefully if we did our naming scheme right, um, which we did, um, we can see that everything just kind of formed one nice big video wall. We can see that everything's kind of collapsed uh, into a nice little video wall. We can see all our sources, one, two, three, four down there in the bottom left um, are connected and showing that. If we want to change our source now, all we have to do is the same thing as before. All we have to do is click and drag. We can drag our uh, source to display. It might take a second. The screens might black out. Um, and then as everything refreshes, boom, we've got our full video wall of the Avengers. And that's pretty much it for AV over IP. Very simple, very streamlined, easy to use, easy to understand, um, and gives you a lot of easy management uh, features rather than having to use uh, the web UI, you can do it at the convenience of a tablet. So that's our AV over IP systems. So the next thing we're going to try is one of our matrix systems. Uh, the one we're going to use in this particular case is going to be our uh, BZ MVS 8x8 4K. So we'll just select that from our list here. Uh, we can go ahead and name it. So we'll just name it MVS 8x8. And we're going to type in our IP address. Again, these should already be on your network. Uh, and your iPad should be on the same network. And again, if you need assistance with that, we have videos for, for these particular models uh, available on our YouTube page. Uh, but for this one, it's going to be 192.168.30.44. We'll click Save, and we can see that it got added. And all we have to do is tap it, and we're in it. And you can see that this looks a lot like the AV over IP system. We still have create video wall. We have pass through, refresh the data on the page, and we can create and save presets. You'll notice that we don't have like group creation or anything like that. And again, that's specific to AV over IP. So the layout may change a little bit depending on your particular device. Like you may not see video wall creation if it can't do that, et cetera. But overall, Functionality is the same. If I want to change inputs out, and you know outputs, anything like that, all I have to do again is click and drag. So if I want to change uh, whatever's showing on output one over here, I can pick you know say this input, drag it to it, and that's it. And we can kind of see that you know that top right TV's changed. If I want to change you know another one, I can drag from the other side equally as well, um, and that'll change. And so now we've got three of them. Etc. Um, so functions just about the same. Same thing goes with video wall creation. So if we wanted to create a video wall, all we have to do, just like we did before, we'll tap create video wall, and then we'll just drag our displays to where they need to be. So on this one, it's a little bit easier to understand where our stuff is because our outputs are lined up and labeled for us on our unit. So I know output one is that top left, output two is going to be my top right, output three is that bottom left, and output four, bottom right. And then all I have to do select whichever input I want it to be and hit set video wall. So I'll kind of blink out and we've got our stuff there. You'll notice across the bottom of the screen maybe our stuff's not quite aligned. Part of it is our TVs are a little bit misaligned but we do have an option for set bezel corrections. We can kind of adjust our, our TV's bezel to try to maybe compensate for or we should I should say the app can kind of compensate for the TV's bezels um, to compensate for the gap or the space that's creating for them. 
Um, and if I hit apply, we can kind of maybe see like the TVs adjust a little bit. Um, you know, the sections might get a little bit different. Um, and we can change just maybe like the vertical or the horizontal. And we can apply it to all displays. Or um, if that doesn't really work for what we're trying to do, we can try to do it for like per display and see if that gets us to where we want to be. And you can maybe see like this images shift a little bit. Um, it's very minor, but you can kind of see how they're a little bit off now. Um, you know, his face is kind of squished and things like that. It's gonna be particular on your particular setup. We won't go too much into that, but we do have a, a video on setting bezels correctly and, and things like that as well. Um, but if we want to go back to our main screen, all we have to do is go back. And again, we can see that we've got our video wall kind of set up here where it shows one, two, three, and four on the bottom left, and then our other outputs. Um, which again, those kind of work independently, but if we wanted to, you know, again, change our video walls input or anything like that, we can simply just drag another source to it and it'll change and it'll hold that bezel alignment and corrections. And overall, that's, that's it for our app. All right, so that just about wraps it up for us today here at BZB Gear. Um, again, so we kind of briefly covered our new app, uh, the BZB Switcher app, um, which has support for a lot of our current switches, and then our, we'll be adding support for our video walls, our upcoming switches, like our highly anticipated uh, VP99 Pro, um, you know, some of our units that can also do multi-viewing, things like that. Um, those will be up and coming additions uh, to future updates for our application. Um, but as you can see, it's a very versatile app, covers a wide range of our products um, in a very easy and convenient way uh, to control video walls, your matrixing, presets, all that good stuff. And as always, if you have problems, questions, concerns, feel free to leave a comment or uh, reach out to us through our support channels. Um, and with that, we'll see you in the next one.